a bit shaky around here. Right, let's see what we're doing in the laboratory. Four dials, and we've got some chemicals here. That didn't work. I did it. Huh. Does it matter what order we put them in? Whoa! What the heck? Is the monster coming back? I hope not. Now what we're supposed to do. Need to turn on the burners first, okay. Burners on. Hold down the left mouse button in the circular motion. That's one. That's two. Oh. The monster doesn't like that, does he? How about a foot? Fourth wheel! There needs to be a container below the contraption. Did we pick one up? Oh, chemistry pot. Huh. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I've got to do it again now. I forgot to put my pot down. <laughs> Oh, I have to do all the wheels again. <laughs> oh dear. That one. That one. No angry roar this time. Ooh. That lovely acid. Yep, picked up a pot of acid. That's some lovely. Oh! I thought I saw the guy there. I thought I saw him. Does that happen? Do you kind of see him out the corner of your eye after a while? Any tinder boxes? No. Have I looked in these? I can't remember. If I have, they magically shut by themselves, which is a bit disconcerting. What's that? Oh, it's that item again. Uh, yeah, we've been here. It's just all the drawers are magically shut by themselves. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, what's happened here? The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Hmm, problematic, isn't it? Gonna get out of here. Is there anything I can grab? Any bits of wood or anything? Hmm. Can't get through there. Be some wood or something I can use. Hmm. Aha! I found a piece. Oh, it wants to sit there. It seems. Okay. Can I get up? Three. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing, man? Crazy person. There we go. Phew, we made it. That was remarkably easy. I was, I was just carrying it and it slotted into place. <laughs> Fluke.
<laughs> it became impossible to avoid the commotion in the streets begged for his attention as he opened the shutters and blah blah blah. Oh god. Ooh. Not good, not good. Run, run, run. Cool. That red stuff's nasty. What's down here? What's this about? It's a chest with nothing in it. What's this? Oh. Someone said last uh, last episode that I was incredibly brave. Not really. Not really. I'm just um, a little desensitized, perhaps. Not potentially brave, though. Is there anything worth anything down here? Is there anything? It's like... Is there anything to do? Hmm. Is there anything worth anything around here at all? I guess not. Point in putting stuff around if you haven't got anything worth getting. And we can't get through there, of course. Hmm. It's fun breaking stuff. Ah, well, there doesn't seem to be anything, any clues around here. Where were you supposed to go next? Hmm. I guess we're going down here next. Because we've got our acid. And I do the acid attack. Yeah, another the refinery. Alright, let's use our. Acid. Oh, no object to use the item on. What? Ah, there we go. Hooray, it worked. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess we go through now. To the refinery. What are we doing in the refinery, I wonder? That is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Ah. Important not to stray. Curious. But just checking I missed any secrets. No, don't think I've missed anything. I wonder why it's important not to stray. Let's proceed with the caution. Oh. Is enemies near? Where? Where's the enemy? Hello? Oh, there he is. Ooh, back up, back up, back up.
I don't want to go down there. He's just gone that way. Um, there's no other way. Oh goody, you mean I've got to follow the chomp thing. Great. Has he gone? Have you gone, Master Monster? Ooh. hear him, but where he is, I have no idea. <sighs> what was that? Oh, a bottle. Base in the next room. Do I don't see anybody? Getting a bit short on tinder boxes. Ah, someone loading them. Oh, crumbs. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it, lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Mm. Strange. Uh, is there anything else in here? Anything useful? Boxes. Could do with some more tinder boxes right about now. Getting a bit thin on the ground. Could have sworn I picked. Yeah, I did pick up some oil. It's f oh, <laughs> I forgot to fuel my lantern. Okay, that's better. Take a proper look around there. It's in this next room. Ah, tinderbox. Something behind here. Look at this. There's a door as well. Mm. So is that, and then there's this half open door here. What's that about? Anybody home? No? Oh, tinderbox.
Hmm. Am I going around the I'm going around the circles, aren't I? So I guess we're going through there. Just making sure I haven't missed anything. Trapdoor. Tells me we shouldn't go through there just yet, maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look around a bit more. Let's see about this room. No, nothing. Ooh. Oh, someone just closed that door. <laughs> Whoa! Pretty messed up. Oh, another note. 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Mm, curious. If you cut some bruises, sanity dot dot dot. Oh dear, that's not good, is it? Sanity dot dot dot. Hmm. I'm not in terribly good shape right now. Hmm. I think we'll leave it off there for now. It's goodness knows what lies beyond the door now. <laughs> 